Hi guys, this is Shalonda Phipps, aka the Adult Guidance Counselor, and I'm helping you move out of your dull, boring, and stagnant job and helping you find a meaningful career. And today I want to talk about your job that's making you sick. I know a lot of people are working jobs that are very stressful, uh, jobs where they get so stressed out, you have headaches, back aches, neck aches, and I don't know if you realize it or not. Stress can kill you. So we want to take this very seriously if you have a job that's making you sick. And so may, many of you may be wondering, well, what do I do if I have a job that's making you sick? You want to know how to leave a job that's making you sick. And so I'm just going to give you some very general steps that you should consider if you want to leave a job that's making you sick. And so number one, you want to make a plan. You know, is this short term or is this going to be long term? And that's going to be based on what's going on at, at work. You know, if it's an occasional headache or backache or, you know, if it's if it's mild, you may want to go ahead and do something that's long term, have a long term plan. You know, but if something is really serious, you may need a short term plan. So the first thing is going to be a plan. Number two Based on it being short term or long term, you want to evaluate uh, your time, your vacation time, your personal time, your sick time, and see what uh, you can use. You know, you need that time to rest and recuperate, uh, need that time to recover mentally. You may need a, men a mental wellness day. I strongly believe in those. Uh, you just may need time off just to uh, gain your thoughts get clarity on your next move. So evaluate the time that you have that you can take off. Thirdly, you may need to get a doctor's note. Like I said, depending on the severity of what's going on in the job, you may need to talk to your physician and see if number one, you can either get your workload uh, reduced or Maybe you can get uh, extended time off. Maybe you can take some short-term disability, depending on exactly what your situation is. Fourthly, um, you can start looking for a job now. You have to keep in mind that a job search can take up to two or three months. So start looking now. Think about what industries, what areas, uh, what companies interest, interest you, what things you want to do. Think about those things now uh, and be looking at the job market. Be looking at uh, websites. Start networking with people, letting them know that, uh, that you're in the job market. Start it now. Don't wait till you have it all figured out and you know exactly what you want to do. Don't wait until, you know... Uh, after you quit or after you fire, start now. Start looking now to see what's out there and what you're interested in. Because once you make that decision, then you go into a whole nother realm. Then you're going to have to start working on your resume. Then you're going to have to start working on your LinkedIn profile. Then you're going to have to start working on your, pro, uh, your personal branding and uh, your social media. And so there are a lot of steps involved, so you want to start now. So if you're ill and your job is making you sick and you're ready to leave, we're going to do a real quick recap. You're going to make a plan. It may be short term or long term. You're going to evaluate your time off, your personal time, your vacation time, your sick time. You're going to speak with your doctor to see if you can get a doctor's note uh, for either um, extended time off or reduced workload. And then you're going to start looking for a job. And so I hope this information was helpful to you. Like I said, this was just uh, general information. Your uh, specific instance or circumstance could be different. And so this is just an overview of what you can do. Now, if you're in this situation and you would like more detailed help, feel free to inbox me on Facebook. We can set up a 15-minute consultation to see where I can help you find a meaningful career that is not stressful and is not making you sick. And until we talk next time, you have a great day. Bye-bye.